Welcome back everyone, this is the State of the Nation. Now the IMF has given this country a prescription. Increase the taxes and cover the losses. Translation, throttle the neck of the people of this country and milk out the very last cent they have and somehow find a mechanism to balance the deficit in the budget. The current SLPP Ranil Vikramasinghe government is obliging. What puzzles me is, didn't the SLPP government come to power promising the people that they won't bow down to foreign pressure and that they would find homegrown solutions for this problem? <sighs> Wonder what happened to those lions? Kill the goose that lays the egg or feed the goose that lays the egg? That is the question. Let's dive deep into this uh, conundrum. For that, I'm now joined by a journalist and economic researcher, Shuran Ilam Peruma. Uh, thank you very much, Shuran, uh, for your time. Uh, taxes, 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 high cost of living and unbearable rates for food, medicine and essential services and skyrocketing inflation. Now, Sh uh, Shuran, Sri Lanka is getting raped from every side. It looks like the IMF now owns Sri Lanka. Well, um, Mahesh, first of all, thanks for having me on the show again. Um, well, as you already know, and your viewers probably know as well, uh, Sri Lanka has defaulted on its debts, and it has gone to the IMF for assistance. So yes, in a sense, uh, by default, we are locked into the, uh, the IMF conditionality. So if you have a look through the staff level agreement that um, we've established with the IMF so far, it is the very standard uh, package of um, quote-unquote structural adjustment, I suppose. Um, the IMF is asking us to um, undergo fiscal consolidation, which means the government has to balance its budget. It has to, uh, you know, tax. It has to reduce its spending. Um, it has to restructure or privatize the SOEs, particularly uh, energy. So, you know, uh, electricity, water, all those prices are meant to um, reflect the actual costs of uh, production. Um, but the curious thing is there's very little said from the IMF about it, the actual problem, which is not uh, rupees, but dollars, or rather foreign currency, right? Um, so we defaulted on our debt because we didn't have enough foreign currency uh, to pay that debt. Um, so taxation per se is not going to really help us get on that path. Um, you know, one thing about us defaulting is that for the next few years, the government won't really have to uh, repay debt because we'll be... Uh, negotiating on restructuring our existing um, external and uh, possibly even domestic debt levels that uh, hasn't really been decided yet. Um, and in the meantime, the most pressing concern actually is uh, not finding rupees, but, uh, but finding foreign currencies so that we can spend on the things that we need, basically food and energy. Uh, and the IMF has no real solution for that except to devalue the currency, which we have already done, and we have done repeatedly throughout our history, and we've uh, not really seen much uh, foreign currency inflow from that. Shiran, uh, nobody is interested in talking about raising wages for Sri Lankans, not the IMF, not the government, not the opposition. How much can the Sri Lankan society manage this unbearable cost of living before its uh, b breaking point? Do you think the current uh, approach to tax everyone, which is making life miserable in this uh, country, will create an awesome economy as per the predictions of the IMF? Well, certainly taxation plays a role in any economy. Uh, and we would want a kind of just tax system that would uh, tax the wealthiest and particularly tax profits, uh, tax the rentier segments of the economy and uh, for the government to recycle that into you know, essential uh, services for the people, uh, essential welfare, uh, be, be it healthcare or education. Um, taxation in itself is uh, obviously not a solution to our crippling uh, structural problems. Um, in fact, one of the worrying things about the recent taxes is that there seems to be no direction from the government's part on prioritizing uh, certain sectors Right, which we need to develop if we're supposed to come out of this crisis. So for example, uh, manufacturing, industries, agriculture, um, and even some of our export-oriented manufacturing, those really require certain incentives so that we can uh, you know, grow them and scale up Sri Lankan industry and come out of this crisis. 
Absolutely makes sense. Uh, Shiran, very quickly, why is China so silent? Do you think China no longer considers Sri Lanka to be a, f a reliable friend, hence the silence? Um, I don't think China is uh, silent per se. Um, in fact, uh, if you recall around the time that we defaulted, the, uh, the Chinese side made clear that they were working very closely with Sri Lanka and they were trying to uh, actually avoid a default. Um, and China has done this with its uh, partners in other developing countries where they prefer to, uh, to refinance uh, loans and to work on new projects and try to get the uh, entire economic engine up and running so that the country can service its debts. Uh, so traditionally, they don't really go down the same um, you know, IMF austerity path, right? They go on a, on a pro-growth uh, path to, to restructure debt. Um, in the last few months, uh, China has been very active, I think, in, uh, in providing aid. So there's been a lot of donations. We're getting a lot of uh, rice and uh, other supplies, uh, essential supplies from China. There was some fuel that was distributed to, uh, to farmers and to fishermen. So China is very much in the game. Uh, we should also remember that the entire world is in crisis right now. It's not just Sri Lanka. Uh, there is a war going on between uh, Russia and Ukraine. Russia is on China's border and a close ally of, um, of China. Uh, China has border conflicts with uh, India. Um, China has good relations with a lot of sub-Saharan African countries. A lot of them also debt distress and they need assistance. Uh, there's a whole situation in Latin America. So uh, unfortunately, Sri Lanka is not the center of the world and we can't expect China to sweep in and uh, save us whenever we get into trouble. Um, I think the onus right now is on the Sri Lankan side and for us to figure out what kind of um, economy we want, uh, whether we're going to um, basically repeat the same mistakes of the past, whether we're going to remain a very um, you know, import-heavy, service-dominated, uh, backward agrarian sort of economy, or whether we're going to basically streamline all of our policies and incentivize uh, industrialization to really incentivize the development of technology and manufacturing. Absolutely, Shiran. Let's hope for better times. Uh, we have to leave it at that. Thank you very much, uh, Shiran Ilam Peruma, uh, economics, journal, uh, economic journalist and researcher. This is the State of the Nation. Back in a moment.